Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the free Facebook Fix Actions. These actions are available on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash mcpfans. Go ahead and download them there and install them into Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop and open up the folder of actions, you'll see there's a one image, two side by side, two top and bottom, and a Facebook sharpening action. You'll go ahead for the one image and open up your photo to begin with. And you'll see right now it's at 25%. And when I go ahead and I click the play button, you will see it resizes it. This is now at 100%. You can see it even shrunk on the screen a bit. And you'll see it will pop in your logo. So you're gonna go ahead and navigate your way to your logo. And once you put your logo in, it will pop in there and you can have it, of course, cover up part of your photo, or you can shrink it by holding one of the four corners and holding down your shift key and then move it to wherever you desire. And then you can hit the check mark up here or the enter or return key on your keyboard. And you'll see it is now Facebook ready, except for sharpening. We can go ahead and run the sharpening action now. And I run that and you will see it basically just tells you to adjust the opacity if needed or use the mask to mask off sharpening anywhere. We don't want it. So if I click the before and after, you'll see actually it looks pretty good. This one at the default opacity of 50%. Now, if you want to do side by sides, you're not going to have a photo open to begin with. You're going to go ahead and press play and it will run the action. And it's going to tell you to put your left photo in first and it will pop open. So we're going to go ahead and put our first photo in and you're just gonna move it to where you desire. And again, click enter or return. And then we're gonna open the second photo and pop that in there. And again, if you were doing a before and after, you would just put your before and then your after. And again, click enter or return on your keyboard. Now you'll see it says to press continue for your logo, to insert your logo. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this photographer's logo. And you can see hers is already made like a watermark. It's a little transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna move it right over. So if you're concerned with someone taking your pictures, you might wanna put it on top of the subject. And then we are done except sharpening. So we click the sharpening action and looks good. Last one is the two image top and bottom. So again, we're gonna go ahead and press play and it's gonna build the storyboard and then we're gonna insert our images. Your image automatically will go towards the center of the picture, so you're just gonna scoot it up. If you need to resize it, again, you would grab one of the four corners and hold down your shift key. And we're gonna put the second image in, and we're gonna move this one down. And again, enter or return on your keyboard, and then move on to your logo insertion. So if we were concerned about someone taking this picture and we wanted to keep a big watermark on it, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, but let's say we wanted to watermark right over both images, we would just go ahead and shrink it a little bit and then you can play with the opacity of the watermark layer to taste, something like that might be good. And then you're done, except again the sharpening. So we click the play button on the sharpening and we're all done. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you like this format of inserting storyboards, you may want to check out the Magic Blog It Boards, Magic Print It Boards, the Rounded Blog It Boards, and Rounded Print It Boards on my site at mcpactions.com. Thank you.